guess it is quite a useful AI tool that can help making your research life easier. At the moment, I'm looking at the free version, but they do have plans. So the basic version is free. It means you can use 5,000 credits. And with a monthly subscription, you can get a monthly allotment of 12,000 credits. Now, each action within Illicit takes away some of your credits. Let's dive in and see what it can do for us. Firstly, it can find papers, it can extract data from PDFs, and it can create a list of concepts. Let's feed Illicit with a question. We want to look at tools that look at research capacity and capability in healthcare professionals. Here we go. Let's see what it gave us. So we did a summary, including the top four papers. This can be quite useful. If I had the plus version, I could have been given eight papers in the summary, but it did give me quite a few useful citations with the references so you can find the original article. And here we go. And it even give a short abstract summary. Let's click on one of them. We can add, decide what columns we want to add. So let's add a summary column maybe a methodology column and here we go and it just summarizes these neatly for us so this is definitely a good tool to use to find papers when we are exploring a new research field its second function is to extract data from pdfs i've uploaded a research article that i had on my laptop Let's see what it gives us. Here we go. It shows that we have uploaded that paper and we need to select the paper to continue. And here we go, extract data from PDFs. And here I can choose again what I would like to, it to do. I want a summary column. So here it will give me a summary of the paper. I want to know the methodology. And let's say I want to know the summary of the introduction. So this article is then neatly being summarized. And I can quickly scan through and see if this is a paper that I want to include in my research. If it's relevant to me and what I can learn from this. Here we can say parse papers, add columns, or just state the final answer. Very nice and neat. And um, we have to upgrade to plus to download it in CSV, but this format also gives us a lot of information. The third function in Illicit is that it can help us find a list of concepts. So it says, what concepts are you looking for across papers? Treatments for hair loss, scientific fact-checking data sets. Let's say in our case, we are looking for research capacity and capability survey tools. Now it's going to look for papers and specifically for those concepts. And this is what it came up with. So here it found an organizational research climate scale and it says language model. This answer was generated by a language model. You may want to double check it. Oh, that's helpful. Thank you, Illicit. But here we have the Health Professional Research Readiness Self-Assessment Tool. Research Capacity and Culture Tool. There's another one. We even give you a, a, the source with a bit more information. This Research Capacity and Culture Tool was used in quite a few studies. And um, there's little excerpts from all these different studies. And I guess we can even find the original source by stating, clicking on open paper. This is very useful when you are looking for research in different papers. Clinical environment in scale. So this will be really useful when you are trying to get to know the research field, searching for articles, like in my case, I'm searching for a specific tool. I 
I mean, look how useful this is. And it summarizes everything neatly and nicely together. And you can go and you can find the original articles from here. I would suggest that you try out Illicit. There's a link in the description box below this video if you want to create an, a free account and play around with it and see if it works for you. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.